I believe solar panels are dumb. I believe these ones on my house are dumb. I believe these ones are dumb. And I believe that yours might also be dumb. And I don't just mean because the eFix cursor struck again and it's gone grey and started drizzling in the middle of a heat wave just because we're making content on PVs every single time without fail. Now, before you start thinking I've turned into Jeremy Clarkson, let me explain what I mean. The solar PV array on this house is about 10 years old, which means the inverter's in the loft, more on that in a future video, and that while it will display quite a lot of handy information about how much power it's generating, if I want that information, I have to get the ladder down, climb into the loft, make my way across the fiberglass while dancing from truss to truss, and then by torchlight read the digital display. This is inconvenient. I've gone some way to quenching my thirst for data and getting the most out of my solar PV by installing a PV1000 solar booster from TimeGuard. This tells me how much I'm exporting and importing to and from the grid, and how much is being diverted to heat my hot water cylinder. But what it doesn't do is tell me how much power my panels are generating. Why is it important to know this? Well, we have a saying, if you can measure it, you can manage it. So by figuring out when the peak periods of production are and when they finally stop generating power for the day, I can plan my energy usage accordingly, making sure that I'm using as much as possible before shipping the rest out to the grid. So what's the solution? I could go ahead and change the inverter for a more modern one, but that does seem a little wasteful when it's all working fine, not to mention bum-clinchingly expensive. So instead, we're going to look at a quicker, cheaper, easier solution. What's not to love? It's this, the Shelly Pro 3EM, or three-phase energy meter. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why three-phase when this is clearly a single-phase installation? Well, there is a reason for that, which we'll explain later. But for now, we're just going to make use of one of the phases. In this installation, the AC connecting cable that brings the power from the inverter to the installation and the grid comes down the outside of the house to this massive, ugly meter box that blends into its surroundings like a hippo in an operating theatre. Within the meter box, we've got metering, an isolator, and this Proteus consumer unit with an MCB for the solar installation and one for an old redundant EV charge point. We've swapped out the EV breaker for a 6 amp one which we're going to use to power our Shelly device. We've mounted it in a 5-way plastic enclosure and kept the Proteus theme going, sandwiched it between a couple of DIN rail mounted blanks to centralise and stabilise it a bit, and used the space at the bottom of the meter cupboard to install that whole arrangement. Gary, of course, has taken full responsibility for the design of this under BS61439 total ledge. One thing to note is that because we're running this off a single phase supply instead of a three phase one, we need to get the correct terminals connected, which are simply the back two marked C and N. The current transformer then simply plugs into the underside of the Shelly device via this pre-wired plug, and then we clamp the other end around the meter tail, running from the consumer unit back to the installation. If we'd kept the EV charge point in place, we'd have probably opted to put the CT around the incoming line conductor of the PV supply cable in the consumer unit so that we didn't get false readings when the EV was charging. But all we're losing here really is just the tiny amount of current being drawn by the Shelly Pro 3EM. But as the data sheet suggests, it's drawing less than three watts. I'm happy to view that as the angel share. It's important to get the CT clamped the right way around. And on the back, we've got directional markings of K and L with the arrow pointing to the L. This shows the direction of power flow to the load. Because we're using it on a PV system, we need to treat the inverter and panels as the load. This is because the Shelly device will see the power flowing from the PVs as generated instead of consumed, and as we'll see in a minute, show it as a net benefit. Now all we need to do is power it up and have a look at hooking it up to the interweb and the app on my phone. This couldn't be simpler, just download the app from the relevant platform. I'm using an Android, so I'm on the Play Store. Then once you've set up an account and logged in, you can start adding your devices by pressing the plus button in the bottom right corner. We're going to add via Bluetooth. It scans and finds our Shelly Pro 3EM. Selecting that device, we can then connect it to the local Wi-Fi network. It just takes a moment to add the Pro 3EM to the network. You can do a couple of useful things, like assign a specific image to the device. Handy if you've got lots of monitoring and control going on, but we'll stick with the default image. Now we'll give it a name. We'll just call it Energy Monitoring. Click next and it's on my system. Instantly, I can start monitoring how much power my system is producing in real time, as well as looking at historical data. Now I'm happily measuring away what my system is producing and I can manage the use of that power. But to be fair, we've barely touched on what this device from Shelly can do. In the first instance, we've got these other two CT clamps that we could play around with. Obviously we've only got the one phase, but what we could do is hook these up to the main meter tails for the whole installation. That would then tell me exactly how much I'm either importing or exporting at any given moment. 
equipment, which the Pro 3 EM does brilliantly as it's PV ready with two-way tracking of power flow. Then I could pop the other one around the tails after the Henley block here and measure how much power the actual installation is using. So with one simple device, I've got solar generation, export import values and what I'm using at any given moment. As a father of two teenagers, I can confirm this is like having the ultimate weapon in the war on wattage waste. And we're just managing a home solar setup. This could also be used for a commercial building or an industrial site, as it gives you real-time granular insight into your electrical consumption and generation. It can be connected via Wi-Fi, LAN and Bluetooth, so it's ultra-flexible to install and integrates effortlessly with platforms like Home Assistant or commercial-grade BMS systems using Modbus or MQTT. It also features four-quadrant support, which means it will track imported and exported active power, as well as imported and exported reactive power. It stores up to 60 days of one minute resolution data in non-volatile memory with an onboard real-time clock. But what really sets it apart is its on-device intelligence. Built-in scripting and webhooks let it react automatically to changes in load or production, turning monitoring into automated energy control via an optional contactor add-on. So, all things considered, this is the affordable, user-friendly energy monitoring device that can not only make your dumb solar PV system smart, you'll find applications for it in any niche of the solar generation industry. For more information, click on the links in the description. And all that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.